Hello. Welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you're happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about stay away from these synthetic vitamin supplements. This video is for educational purposes only, and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. Here is the list of synthetic vitamins provided for you to help you learn what vitamins to avoid and which ones to select. Not surprisingly, factory-made vitamins are less healthier for gut health. In other words, comma, you can apostrophe T fool mother nature, but don't worry, there are suitable alternatives to vitamins out there. Getting a high-quality vitamin supplement from Whole Foods can be useful for the best gut health. As a rule of thumb, pick natural food sources of vitamins whenever possible. The bonus is that organic vitamins usually feel much better on your stomach than synthetic ones. This list of synthetic vitamins will help you determine which to limit or avoid. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Nutrients fall into two major categories. Natural and Synthetic. Natural nutrients. Natural nutrients contain vitamins, minerals, amino acids, fiber, and antioxidants found in whole foods and come directly from the earth. They have been available for as long as humans have been here, reach the exact amounts and ratios our bodies require, and have become used to absorbing safely and efficiently. When not ingesting enough whole foods to meet our daily nutrient needs, we often turn to vitamin and mineral supplements. Synthetic nutrients. Synthetic nutrients are man-made and made to emulate the results of natural nutrients through an industrial process that usually applies the isolated nutrients, which most of the time won't have the cofactors required to allow for the efficient absorption and or utilization by the body. Synthetically produced supplements have only been around for a short time, and even though the systems appear alike, there is still a lot of hesitation about how our bodies absorb and respond to them. Here is a list of these vitamins. Synthetic Vitamin E Synthetic Vitamin E does not achieve from a natural food source and is typically derived from petroleum byproducts. Due to its chemical procedure, Synthetic Vitamin E, DL-alpha tocopherol or any variation beginning with DL, is seen in most supplemental Vitamin E sources. It is only about 12% as rich as natural Vitamin E. It is not as bioavailable, efficiently operated by the body, as its natural counterpart. This means general absorption is reduced, and so too the utilization of the vitamin. Some studies have indicated that around three times more synthetic vitamin E is required to equal the biological activity of natural vitamin E. Synthetic vitamin E is also eliminated faster than the natural form, so it doesn't have as much time to get into the cells and tissues where it is required. Natural vitamin E, labeled D-alpha tocopherol, D-alpha tocopherol acetate, D-alpha tocopherol succinate, or mixed tocopherols, comes from plant oils instead of petroleum. Synthetic Vitamin C Vitamin C, a water-soluble vitamin that bodies do not naturally make, meaning you have to get it from your diet. And what does this vitamin do? It assists the immune system, boosts collagen production, and saves the body from free radicals. So, where you get your vitamin C is more important than you may suppose. Most vitamin C supplements are made with synthetic vitamin C, or you might notice it labeled as ascorbic acid. And what people don't comprehend is that ascorbic acid is traditionally made in a lab. It's derived from GMO corn and processed with chemicals like acetone. I don't know about you, but I definitely do not want to be putting that into my body. All natural origins of vitamin C, on the other hand, have a source of bioflavonoids, which enhance the therapeutic action and bioavailability of the vitamin, providing optimal absorption and utilization. As if mother nature already knows what we need. Because of its molecular form, natural vitamin E is much better absorbed. Specific transportation of proteins in the liver tends to attach better to natural vitamin E, letting it be transported to other tissues in the body to be utilized for essential functions, like as an antioxidant. 
Food sources are nuts, seeds, fish, avocados, plant and nut oils, green leafy veg and berries. Calcium. Suppose you were to just take a synthetic calcium supplement. In that case, there is no assurance you are also getting sufficient vitamin D without which, your body cannot utilize the calcium to its highest possibility. It gets filtered out of your body. Not to say synthetic calcium supplements are linked to a raised heart attack risk. In contrast, calcium from plant sources protects against cardiovascular disease. Why synthetic vitamins aren't a good choice? We've already shown that the body requires a steady supply of nutrients to operate correctly. One solution is to add cheap, synthetically produced vitamins into specific foods, beverages, and supplements. Many multivitamins and so-called fortified foods have synthetic vitamins because they are cheap to create and are more shelf-stable, a lot like processed foods. They can remain on the shelf at your local store for months or even years, be pumped into foods in high and unhealthy doses, or make dense tablets that contain insanely high amounts of various nutrients. Sometimes manufacturers even get away with calling synthetic vitamins natural because they are virtually identical to the nutrients that come from food. However, these synthetic vitamins are not what the body enjoys at all. They are made in a way that's not similar to the metabolic functions plants and animals utilize to make them. They also don't consider the countless compounds and phytonutrients from whole food. That drives them much less bioavailable than organic vitamins. They can be very hard on your kidneys, and the body might even see them as toxins. Some investigations have even tied synthetic vitamins to a higher risk of cancer. Look for a food source list. If there isn't one, it's presumably synthetic. The components list should be made of whole foods rather than just listing vitamin C or vitamin E on its own. Products containing salt forms, such as hydrochloride, nitrate, succinate, chloride, bidartrate, and acetate, are usually synthetic. Words that end in ID or aid or start with D often mean synthetic ingredients. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.